So welcome back to the farm build. A lot has happened since the last time, as you might be able to tell. Um, starting over here, I got started with the backing on the workshop, although I don't like this, so I'm going to be redoing that. And then I'm starting on this part of the workshop, but it's not really me. I'm still in between whether it's going to be for sheep or for storage. Um, but we'll figure that out. So I've got another print on at the moment, give me another eye beam to that corner. I've used wood for the beams that you won't see just because, it's, because it's cheaper and easier. I've got loads of bolts of wood, which I've been cutting up the bolts of slicer. That's the mess over there. Um, over here, the idea this is going to be in a little abandoned area, not a random farm, but I've soldered up a gate out of wire, threw it outside for about a week, and it's rusty now. So I'll put that in there. Got to paint them posts and have this all wonky broken fence a bit of wire there to see that. I have no wire um, and brushwood is out of stock and I could use my own but this stuff just looks so much better when it's not got white um, stuff on it this frame. I painted all of these posts and put these in. Um, I saw he's given his second coat but I forgot to do the underside of that strainer post there. And then I've also built and painted this post and rail fence in there. Um, all the back seen are in, apart from that little bit, which I'll finish off in a minute. And yeah, um, I'm not going to be doing too much this time, but the main thing I want to get the workshop done, breathe that in one building, and then I can work off the farm. Might start on the castle shed, but primarily, primarily even get the fields finished this time. And then once the field is finished, they won't have wire because I need to wait. I, they won't have a lot of hedging because I need to wait for that to come. Well, I, they've got the, I haven't even ordered the hedging because there's no point to the wires and stuff. Um, but get all this like landscape out, I might have to do some plaster there or something. And then I need to build the yard out a bit more to there. Because the silage pit's going to go right up to that corner. And then figure out where the entrance is. So I'll get the print done and show you when I've done a little bit more. So I use the spray glue this time instead. Because it sort of made sense to be quicker rather than PVA. So it hasn't set yet but it looks alright. Um, so all this is in loose, this is just roughly. So there's going to be, I put that post in there. Uh, put these pegs in just to hold it. This fence is loose. Uh, it will stay loose, it's just I painted these, so it's going to be an old rotten fence, and then this old area is going to be an old abandoned area, so we're going to get some old models, weather them up, put them in there. So that's the idea at least, so we'll get some hedging and start with the head. Right, so we've got the old uh, bolster slicer out again, slice up a load of bits, I'm going to glue these on along there for Yorkshire boarding, I will set up a time lapse for me doing that now. Time, time lapse did not work because the first two took like ages to set up to try and get it straight and it still looks a wobbly so a bit disappointing with it but it won't look too bad because it's going to be up against the wall so it'll be fine but it still looks pretty good and uh, now on the next bit I guess so now we're going to work on the sort of abandoned sort of yard gateway hedgerow thing so we're going to go up the gate, this one had a hinge where it used to get pressed into a piece of balsa wood. Glue that hinge on there, and then it will actually be able to open. Like that. And then we'll glue some of this along it. Around here. 
then that's our head very pretty much done. It still needs some more touching up, but um, I need to wait for materials to come for that. So in the field, I think we're going to put the big board right in the corner. And then the small muck spreader in this corner up there against a broken moth post. And the small touch up there. I might possibly not have that forward in there, but that's a really old broken one which be in there. But um, that's just the sort of idea for now, we'll put some junk in there. When I get the, uh, more hedging, we'll sort of make it all work. A bit of an update, I've got a lot more done. Um, this stuff is just like pine tree. So this was the bottom branch of our Christmas tree that wouldn't fit, so I've cut them up. I used to use this. So a bit of an update for you, I've used this stuff which is just off pine trees. This was the bottom few limbs off our Christmas tree that wouldn't fit in. So, um, all fair down there, but I'm just cutting them up, making it smaller. I used to use this stuff for all my trees, but obviously it goes off after a while. It used to be fine where I used to have my model table just inside a window because the light would keep it quite green all year. But, um, I've used it here because I don't mind if these few trees die. So, I can have a sort of a scene of cutting it up. I found some more of this old oasis stuff and I rammed it all in around old parts in trailers so the idea is there's going to be a bit of an entrance here to this old yard and then I normally use the brushwood stuff for fencing but I've got this plasterboard stuff uh, I've cut a strip off of it, it's wider than that normally spray painted it and I think it'll look really good when it's screwed up so I'll show you when I've done that so that's looking a lot better now I've got a sheet paddle there to block up a hole Got that piece of there that needs to put the top wire bud wear on, so I'll try and order some tonight. Um, I'm going to go with this fencing for the whole thing, so I just think it looks really good. And the other stuff's out of stock. So I will, when this is set, which will be well dried, I'll glue that on around there. Um, finish this track up to there, do something with the field over there, and that will be the field section done. So we've got it all worked out now, I've got that piece of tin on there. I didn't want to use that cut of tin, but that's what I have if I get some more in. That was the old roof of that one that I cut down, so um, it's not a waste if, even if I don't use it, end up using it. Now that's on there, because uh, I really want to get this done before Christmas, but I don't think it's going to happen realistically. I've got to do the rest of the fascia boards inside the workshop to cover up all these joints. Um, then detail out the workshop, do all that in, glue the building back against there. And then pull all this up and then do the entrance and the pit and then the cow shed and the rest will hopefully fall in place from there. But um, we're gonna work on the track now, I think. The track coming up here. So what I wanna do is carve this out a little more and then glue down some more of this stuff up to this point. Great. Second attempt at mixing up plaster and I've made it a bit ruddy still but it'll be fine. Plaster down here, plaster a bit over here. Um, I was going to use it the whole of this, but I'm going to try and do this bit with it. Alright, let's see how this goes. I've never worked with plaster before. So, it'll be interesting to see how it works. I'm guessing you just treat it like cement. So this is definitely the one this batch. No idea how well this is going to work with the foam. It's a bit thicker in the bucket in certain places. I don't need to keep mixing it. It's going hard in places in the bucket.
then when it starts setting, I think I'll get a track to ties and go along to make the make it look like a muddy track. But I'll see you back when I'm doing that. Got that bit done there. Now I'm gonna get some more parts to build it up in between there and there, so I can cement the top of it, and then just landscape it all through there. And I think I'm gonna have the road going up through the to the corner. So it's gonna be the corner like that, and this will be the rest of that, make that all abandoned. Now another paddock out there will be the idea. Okay, so we've got the plastering done, and now when it's wet, I'm going to sprinkle stuff over it so it will set. So I've got this piece of concrete in there done, and the pit glued in. This is the start of the castle shed there, and I've got some equipment that will just need to be there as well. This didn't actually set when I had to re glue this, but this one's been a bit of a weird one. I haven't really shown you me doing much because of um, doing it in between stuff. This here was a live stream the other night. We did not sure I did out of the workshop. So that's pretty much it for this. This one next one will be a bit more in depth. That's pretty much it for now. And thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Entering into the Christmas giveaway and see you again soon.